So you've probably seen our full review of the Mazda B350 on GoFlatOn page, of course. And now we're going to be taking this pickup on a leisure drive to Lake Tabeyo in in Mount Pulag in the province of Benguet. So it's going to be an epic drive and it's really, really going to be a fun one at that because uh, it's one of the highest points in Luzon. Uh, Beside me guys, here is Sam Surla from Visor. Hi. Pretty sure you know Visor naman. And so we're on our way into the lake and the B250 has been really good on our trip. But yeah, we're gonna check back on you guys once we're up there at Lake Tabeo. Grabe guys, have you seen this view? Absolutely amazing. Ang ganda ng view from up here sa Mount Hulag here in Lake Tabay. Wow, ang lamig! Almost magsisingle digit temperature na lang. We're currently at 12 degrees Celsius. And, pero wow, hindi ako nakano, di ba? Hindi ako naka-sweatshirt. Pero still, yeah, it's very cold. Ang ganda ng temperature and solid yung view. Really the perfect venue to test out the Mazda BT-50 and go for a camping trip. Hey guys, so we just arrived at Baguio Country Club from Lake Tabeo and gusto naman yung BT-50, what do you think of it? It's comfy, it's nice, mabigat yung steering kasi it's a truck. Yeah, hydraulic steering. No? So that's what I also said in my review, so everything that I've said in the review ko still carries through here. Hindi nagbago opinion ko with the BT-50 but you know, we're here now in the Baguio Country Club and it's been a relaxing drive more or less. It handled the curves really well, yun nga lang heavy steering but handling wise it was secure, the pickup performed really well and you know, it's a great vehicle for you to go camping with and now that we're here in Baguio Country Club, we're gonna have a relaxing day for the rest of today, basically. The rest of today. <laughs> just hopped onto the BT-50 Tango in Edition and one of the things you're gonna notice immediately once you start driving this car is that because of the rota wheels, the steering is lighter because of the wheels being lighter than compared to the standard BT-50 and in addition to that, you also have of course the aesthetic upgrades like the sports bar and another functional upgrade by the way of this model is the assisted tailgate no? so before the BT-50 doesn't have a torsion bar to lighten up the load ng tailgate but here you have a hydraulic strut to lighten the load of tailgate so basically uh that's what happens with the BT-50 Penguin Edition so it's both aesthetic and functional in terms of upgrades yun nga lang because of the sports bar yung kanyang 
bed cover doesn't uh, go all the way sa dulo. So yeah, this has been a meaningful trip in Mazda Philippines. Maganda yung Beat K50 because of the value proposition, the way it looks, and of course, being based on the Isuzu D-MAX, it's gonna be bulletproof reliable. Of course, don't forget to follow GoFlatOutPage and of course, our friends from the media like si Sam Surla with Visor. Don't forget to follow those pages and yeah, uh, we're gonna see you guys on the next video of GoFlatOutPH.